And yesterday, clearly, clearly the best in the field. Yes, they have such a comfortable margin for Selena Fragi and Jean Rampurno, but they don't just want to win this event. They want to post a score that will indeed put them as contenders for the junior world title this season. Selena Fragi and Jean-Han Pernod vying to become the French first French junior ice dance team to win gold on the Junior Grand Prix in eight years. Wow. Well, they certainly are the class of the field. I mean, incredible skating skills and some unique choreography, beautiful choreography. Mm. It just We've talked about it on several occasions, but we need to keep mentioning it that what Karen Aribar has been doing ever since she sort of entered the Junior Grand Prix is equivalent to that of, of an athlete moving yes. from junior to senior, you know, and with such quality. She's just done brilliant work and look at this spin, just one foot. That's just amazing, it's beautiful. And they've used this 
the speed. Feature before, but you can see now, like we've said in the seniors, that was amazing. The loop in the clockwise direction. On the note. Uh, oh, yeah, exactly. And then masterful musicality on the back outside edge exit of those twizzles. Yeah, four and four with a 2.18 GOE, so 902 for that one element. I would have, I think I would have plus four grade of execution on that twizzles. They were really brilliant. This was a little bit hairy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Did she slip that leg? Just slipped, or the foot just slipped off the leg, and they, you know, slightly choreographed concerned. on the on, on the yeah. go there. Slightly concerned. He lost the curb a little bit. Yeah. Well salvaged. But I mean, that said, as you say, the class of the field, and what I was going to touch on there, as we see some of the features that they previously used, is this is a confirmation of what we have seen in the senior ranks that mileage as a team definitely pays off in this ice dance discipline and this team now looking so established comfortable and at home and that undoubtedly the feeling that i felt just even in the rhythm dance as kareen gets excited to hopefully see the triumph and I, this would be a great celebration for her too because of all the oh yeah totally she's had, totally she's not had a gold medalist yeah the but she Grand keeps Prix. ascending on just the quality of the team the choreography all of that with her teams and now the rewards begin mm. to appear in the medals and they had a little hiccup on monday selena uh, was cutting an apple with a mandolin and the blade broke off in her hand she had to go to hospital on monday for some emergency stitches oh you could gosh. just about see the oh the yeah, yeah, yeah there it is yeah uh, but it hasn't, uh, fortunately, deterred them. <laughs> no. Just a little hiccup in their preparations for the season. Well, 95.14 is their personal best. We'll see how close they come to that here. But any score around that is going to uh, completely guarantee their win. That curve lift did come in at level three. So some levels that they should pick up. Dance spin, level three. So there should be some... Yeah, some work, some improvement to be made. 93.86, that's first in the free dance. And they will win their gold medal with a total competition score of 158.66 for Selena Fragi and Jean-Hans Fono. <laughs> there we go. A lot of pride, a lot of hard work.